We'll cover this uh, renewables rally, uh, the reckless renewables rally in Canberra tomorrow. You'll remember back in November I covered their protest in Sydney. A lot of great people there from around the country, not just New South Wales, but around the country, with big concerns. They came to Sydney to get the attention of the media and the politicians, and they were largely ignored. Let's see what happens when they turn up in Canberra tomorrow. I fear a lot of the media will ignore them there as well. Let me bring on to the desk Paul Murray, the host, of course, of Paul Murray Live, the heart and soul of the station. Good to talk to you again, mate. Too kind. How are you, mate? Uh, not too bad at all. You'll be having a look at this, uh, this rally tomorrow, won't you? It's heartbreaking, isn't it? People who are really fighting to preserve their communities all around the country, most of the media don't want to know about it. Well, again, I, I just... These, none of these developments would be acceptable in teal seats, right? No. If somebody wanted to put wind farms on North and Se uh, South Head in Sydney people would go crazy. If somebody wanted to get rid of a dog park in Melbourne, people would go crazy. But because it's out there, it's the place where you might have a hobby farm, you may have some relatives from way back when, or it might be a place to occasionally uh, go and rent an Airbnb. It's just out there. I hope that tomorrow this gets serious coverage, but you and I both know what's going to happen, which is that this is the only channel that'll give it any serious truck. If eventually, because there's something colourful, it makes 30 seconds on the 6pm news. But also I hope that some of these people are able to be invited politely into the public gallery and Chris Bowen addresses them directly, but I guarantee if somebody swears or coughs, the story immediately becomes who signed them into the parliament oh, as yeah. opposed to why are they angry. But that's one of the things they won't do, right? They won't throw paint at the, at, at the building. They won't uh, glue themselves to the parliament house doors. Yep. And because they don't do all that crazy stuff, the get press gallery gets to ignore them. Oh, 100%. And, I mean, literally we've seen as well when Jacinta Nebuchadnezzar Price was bringing people from yep. Alice Springs who had stories of abuse and systemic failure, brought them to Canberra and went office to office to office to office to office. Sorry, no column inches. They don't want to do that. I did a very similar thing about 30 years ago as a journalist. It's astounding how blatantly they will ignore issues they want to ignore. 100%. Now, I want to get your thoughts on Albo and tax and the news poll in a second. Let's just lead into it, though, with this little snippet from the Prime Minister. But we are back to make a difference. I said at the beginning of this term that we weren't here to just occupy the space and we are showing that. He's not there occupying the space. What do you reckon? Uh, well, there's many things I could say, but it's an <laughs> earlier time slot, so I'll be... Yeah, we're on TV now. It's not you and me talking out the back. <laughs> Look, my central frustration that has driven me to be as relentless as you and everyone else on this channel to talk about the failures of this government is they purport to be there for the people who are most forgotten, but the people who are most forgotten are the ones who are constantly and daily having the screws applied, right? Um, for example, they made the decision, this government that's now about cost of living and cost of living solutions, the ones that gives themselves standing ovations, right? Yep. These are the people who took $1,500 off 10 million workers yep. in last year's budget. The did anyone offset. talk about it? No, no, we did. Did anyone talk about it? No, right? That should have stayed, right? But instead, we have to believe that, you know, the best part of a year later, 15 bucks a week for people on $45,000 is enough to turn everything around. And the tax excise today on beer means that's 15 beers a week, it's gone, right? Well, correct, but also Neutral. throw in today. Petrol went up. Yep. The highest tax rate in history on petrol goes up. Um, yet these people say, oh, we're pulling every lever we possibly can. Well, yeah. I can pull the other one. Finish your sentence with that, yes. There we go.